Hey guys, we're here at Melbourne Powered, down here in Ascot Vale, Melbourne, Victoria, and I'm here with the lovely Anthony. And Anthony is going to step us through how to power up your bike. <laughs> Guys, welcome. So here we have the NCM Moscow Plus. That's one of our e-bikes we sell at the shop. Um, and I'll just give you a quick rundown on how we operate it and how we remove the battery and turn it on. And so to remove the battery, insert the key, 90 degree turn, and out she comes. Okay. So that's a large 48 volt, 16 amp hour battery of the Moscow Plus. To put it back in, slide it into the corner and then just pop it in. Out she comes, and that's locked on. So power it up. Um, you want to press the button on the top of the battery here to make sure the green lights come on. Yep. So we have four green lights there. And then just simply press the power button on the display controller and watch it fire up. So what does the display panel actually tell us? So the display panel tells us, it gives it a number of uh, readouts. So you, in the middle you get your speed readout. Right there, nice big large uh, display. You also have what is pretty important to e-bikes is the pedal assist uh, setting. So that just uh, controls how much power you get from the motor. So level one is the lowest power, but you can also increase that to a maximum of six levels on this bike for maximum riding speed. You also get your battery readout as well. So that tells you how much range you're gonna have left. Um, and then you also, you got some odometer and some trip functions on the side to tell how far you've been riding. How many kilometers would I get out of a battery? On average, these bikes would give you roughly between 60 to 80 kilometers of riding yep. on a single charge. Um, so that's more riding on this bike in, in particular because it's the plus model with the bigger battery. Um, awesome for long distances. Step me through what's happening up here because there's a lot of gadgets, lot of gadgets. and it looks really cool. Yep. Try to simplify it as best okay, as we cool. can. <laughs> All right, so these bikes come equipped with very nice, comfortable velo hand grips. They make a very nice, comfortable ride. Um, they also come with an A-speed gear for Shimano gearing setup. Now with the gears here, I can see that you can definitely ride this as a normal mountain bike, um, and you don't need to use the electric function as well. You can, you can ride the bike as a normal bike. You don't need to have the motor turned on. You can still have the display on, get your speed readouts, etc. Um, but you, you know, you may want to just have it in a low power setting if you just want to cruise around and put in a fair bit of effort, the option's yours. Now Anthony, if I've just purchased a bike and it's not powered, is there a possibility to make it powered somehow? Yeah, certainly we can make it electric. So there's a thing called conversion kits. That's part of what we do here where is we convert a bike that's a standard bike into electric. We predominantly use what's referred to as mid-drive conversion kits. And the outcome is that you get a bike that you've always enjoyed riding and you have now an electric bike. So it's really get the best of both worlds. So Anthony, after I've purchased a bike, what can you tell me about the after-sales support? Okay, so with after-sales support, we offer the one service follow-up service for free. Um, and that's always good just to check things up after you've been riding the bike for a little bit. Uh, ongoing support, we offer servicing and repairs for all bikes essentially, so predominantly electric bikes but also any mountain bike or road bike. Um, we specialise in electric bikes so we've got a fair bit of experience and knowledge in electric bikes and you know, we've covered a lot of different uh, makes and models so generally for all electric bikes we've got you covered here, so repairs and servicing. Now, can you tell me a little bit about the warranty? If I have purchased a bike from Melbourne Power, what's the warranty on, I suppose, Generally, generally, so, generally yeah, speaking. the warranty will differ between different models, yeah. but generally speaking, there's about two years warranty on the motor and battery, yep. and then a year on the electronic components. Okay. So that includes the display yep. and speed sensor, and etc. And in terms of repairs and, and spare parts, we cover that all here. So we've got that's a pretty good um, uh, base for repairing and yeah. service electric bikes. That's really great. <laughs> so if you're looking for a powered bike, make sure you get down to uh, Melbourne Powered here in Ascot Vale. Um, and you'll be greeted by Anthony and his team and I'm sure you'll be very, very impressed. Thanks. Thanks guys. Awesome.